ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this Saturday edition. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a busy weekend as well as the upcoming week. Let's go right to some sky cam images. Here's a look at Coleman this morning, the sun rising in the uh, basically clear sky across uh, central Alabama. And uh, there's a look at Tuscaloosa as we look over the city there and we can see the color coming into the sky. And there's the nuclear spider down at Demopolis. Just had to show that one. Well, of course, all eyes are on the uh, Gulf of Mexico as Gustav moves out of the Caribbean and moves across western Cuba. Uh, that's the surface pattern. And, of course, uh, here's the upper pattern, and uh, it's still not exactly known, but uh, models are certainly coming together, and we'll be spending a little more time on that. Temperatures across uh, the southeastern United States, still rather mild and uh, maybe even warm. But notice uh, across the uh, area of the north central United States, some temperatures in the 40s and actually a couple of 30 readings in there. So as James mentioned earlier this week, fall is indeed in the air. Now across central Alabama, uh, not a whole lot to talk about, but we are noticing, of course, across Florida that the wind surface uh, wind is beginning to reflect that of Gustav. All right, here's the tropics. And of course, we've got Four systems or four things we're watching. Uh, starting over there just to the south of Cuba is Gustav. Uh, just to the uh, north of Puerto Rico is Hanna. And then just to the east of Hanna is uh, an open wave at the moment uh, that is not uh, showing much signs and is actually not in a very good favorable area. And then just coming off uh, the African coast is an area of disturbed weather, and that indeed is beginning to show some pretty good signs. So that is where uh, we'll be watching probably after we get rid of G and H. All right, here is uh, here's the H storm. Uh, and Hannah's still struggling a bit, uh, but the National Hurricane Center projecting that uh, as the ridge builds to the north, that it will turn a little more to the west and then perhaps southwest. Uh, this is uh, kind of problematic because uh, Cuba's just barely getting uh, hit by Gustav, and this could be just uh, in a few more days get hit again by Hannah. All right, let's turn to Gustav, and here's Gustav this morning. This is the infrared picture, and Gustav is certainly strengthening very, very nicely. And, of course, as it comes into the uh, Caribbean, uh, the Northwest Caribbean and the uh, Gulf, notice that there's very warm surface uh, temperatures. But the upper-level conditions are not exactly perfect, but they're certainly favorable, and it's very likely that Gustav will develop into a major hurricane. Here's the uh, projections of the spaghetti plot, uh, the various computer models. Still got one big outlier that turns it up and uh, brings it into the area of uh, about Destin or so. And uh, yet uh, that's, uh, I think, the, the CLP-5, or Clipper. But the rest of them pretty clustered into central Louisiana. So the spread we've been seeing is not uh, quite as large. But, of course, notice as you get to the end of the of the various cycles of the models that uh, the spread gets a little bigger and there's still some question as to whether or not Gustav will stall and when it stalls exactly where it will stall and then uh, it probably will uh, move to the west a little bit. Now here's the National Hurricane Center's official track. Uh, there are there is a tropical storm watch uh, for the Keys and a tropical storm warning for right down there at the end, but no other warnings in the United States right now. Now, what does this track mean for central Alabama? Well, here's the uh, QPF projections, and of course, uh, across southeast Louisiana and a good portion of the uh, eastern half of Louisiana, they're going to get on the order of uh, 8 to 12 inches of rain. But for us, it looks like we're going to be, uh, while we're not on the dry side per se, we're, uh, we are going to be far enough away that it looks like the main impact will be some uh, breezy conditions on Monday and Tuesday and maybe a uh, slight enhancement to showers. But, of course, we'll have to watch any spiral bands as we get closer. And uh, for day three, the Storm Prediction Center is out looking an area for severe weather uh, all the way from... Uh, the Big Bend country of uh, the Big Bend area of Florida, uh, all the way over to central Louisiana and along the Gulf Coast. All right, here's the 06Z GFS model run. 
And, of course, our attention is drawn primarily to the two storms in the tropics, large surface high uh, centered over Illinois. By Sunday, uh, Gustav has entered the Gulf of Mexico, and that looks pretty, uh, pretty solid. And, of course, Hannah is still struggling over the Bahamas. Now, here is uh, the forecast for Monday, and uh, the GFS bringing it up into the, the upper air pattern because of the huge ridge off to the north, bringing it up to the, uh, to, you know, to the western side of that ridge and uh, puts it uh, basically on uh, Monday afternoon in the vicinity of an approaching, the surface uh, pattern, approaching the central Louisiana uh, Gulf Coast. And there is uh, Hannah also right behind it. So interesting situation we're uh, dealing with right now. By Tuesday, uh, Gustav has come ashore. And at this point, the GFS is beginning to stall it out. By uh, the third, Wednesday, uh, we can see that it is actually shifted westward. The upper uh, reflection is uh, shifted westward into East Texas. And uh, we're watching uh, Hannah not making a great deal of progress. As a matter of fact, it looks like it's close to uh, stationary, uh, which is certainly not exactly the projections of the Hurricane Center right now, but we'll see about that in the future. By Thursday, now the GFS uh, has uh, kind of washing out Gustav, and the focus is now on what's going to happen with Hannah. And Hannah appears by the GFS headed for South Florida. Now, there's a kind of an interesting wrinkle in this, and I'll get to that in just a minute. By uh, Friday, the 5th, uh, Hannah is up around uh, southeast Georgia in the vicinity of, uh, of uh, Savannah and uh, uh, Brunswick, that area right in there. Now, by uh, Saturday, a week from today, it looks like the westerlies are picking up Hannah, and Hannah is essentially long gone, uh, according to the GFS. This is Saturday the 6th, the week from today, and there's the surface uh, pattern as it heads up across the mid-Atlantic states. And then by Sunday, uh, Hannah is up over the southeast Canadian Maritimes. Now, I said there was a, a little fly in the ointment. I looked at the European, and what's interesting about that is this is the chart for Tuesday the 9th. Now, keep in mind, we just showed that uh, on uh, the GFS on Saturday the 6th has uh, Hannah up over the mid-Atlantic states. But here is the European, and on the 9th, it still has Hannah down over the Florida Straits in South Florida. So kind of an interesting difference here. So going to be interesting as we uh, speculate on what happens there. Now, going way out into voodoo land, of course, and uh, that is still voodoo, uh, the uh, GFS is suggesting a nice trough on the 10th, uh, and that certainly would bring a cold front down through the central U.S. and perhaps even make it down into here. But then by the end of the cycle, around the 14th, it looks like we're back to the westerlies uh, along the northern tier of the United States and uh, just uh, a rather... Uh, broad ridging pattern across the southeastern U.S. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, it certainly is going to be a busy time. I'll be filling in for Ashley this evening. And then if Gustav continues on its current path and doesn't shift further west, we'll probably be headed down to Gulf Shores uh, for some reporting on Sunday and Monday. Certainly appreciate you tuning in. Hope that you have a great Saturday and God bless.